and we're ready to start. Welcome everyone. My name is Bartosz and today I'm with Maciej here. Hello. And we're so happy to see you on our live webinar during the time when most of us enjoy shopping centers and other places preparing for Christmas. So we really appreciate your having you with us today. Yes, this is the time of giving and we wanted to give you some news from explain everything in our upcoming plans for what we are preparing for next year. And it starts in January. Oh, very soon. And we have three gifts for you. And just, just to tell you a little bit how we prepared, um, we're going to show you those improvements um, of our product live. That is, we'll be using uh, demo um, version, the beta, and build of explain everything without any backup systems. Why? Why do we do that? Oh, well, backups are for you know schoolgirls. <laughs> one could say, but to be honest, this is this is not easy for us as we're we're not going to ship this functionality very soon. It's going to be put out there. When exactly? Around? Like around uh, January, February. Uh, it's it's that time frame. It's coming, it's really soon, but we are on the stage when we had everything uh, put it together and we start uh, bug fixing and like any, and we, we do a lot of QA right now and we'll fix all of this soon, but we want to share it, share what we have right now and show you what we want to, want you to use, explain everything for next year and hopefully, a lot more. <laughs> so we want you to be informed about what is coming and we'll provide you deep um, information about the future functionality. And actually we have three things we're going to share with you today. I prepared kind of like a visual summary of what we're going to go through. We'll speak about improved navigation and recording. So this is an improvement that is significant. It was it was requested quite a bit, huh? Yes, it's and it it always uh, explain everything is from the beginning it's it's about recording stuff that happens on screen and we gathered a lot of feedback from you and from our from our users uh, those who are fresh newcomers to our platform and those who use it very very broadly and like create are creating a almost professional great video uh, content with it and we uh, gathered all this feedback and we changed some stuff to allow those users uh, do stuff more easily but also give more power uh, to everyone. So this is, this is a sought after improvement of the navigation that we're going to show you live but also we prepared some um, insights about how collaboration will change and um, this is also a an improvement we can say nothing revolutionary or should I say it is revolutionary uh, nothing revolutionary I, I wouldn't say it's that re revolutionary it changes the way you feel and you also navigate through uh, the canvas and how you uh, organize collaboration and it starts with the host role which we'll talk about later but it's like as the first improvement about recording and uh, Zoom uh, is about uh, providing more guidance towards uh, like the end goal. Like for example, supporting some uh, classroom use cases and uh, webinars like this one. <laughs> like this one, so yeah, that's actually, that's very useful for me, but we'll share details um, soon on that. And the third thing we prepared for you is improved object manipulation. So this is kind of like under the hood improvement, right? Yes. It might not be visible for everyone, but yet we want to share this with you because it's fundamentally changing experience making it easier to understand what's going on right yes but that's 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 the dessert of today's program so we welcome you on our webinar it, Marche worked with a team we have a great team in explain everything working on those improvements and and he, he represents the entire team that work on those things and these are not 
not something that we do overnight to change experience in a way that we'll show you today. So I hope everything will work. If not, stay with us. We can provide you with the recording later on. But this is live. That means if there's anything that will be unclear for you and you would like to ask us additional questions, please do so. You can do it on chat and I will provide those questions live so we can answer them because we're here for you. We're here to explain everything. About explain everything. About explain <laughs> everything. So let's jump right in to improved navigation and the recording. So what was, what was the thinking? Why we need to change the Zoom tool? Because eventually it's about the changing of the Zoom tool, right? Like, so throughout the years, we, uh, we changed the uh, Zoom uh, functionality and added the Stealth Zoom. It was around three years ago when we introduced it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a great improvement in Explain Everything and you may be aware of it and this functionality mm -hmm. it like it, it was like uh it was sh shown on the bottom left on the screen where this zoom uh icon is right now Bart may uh, show it to you oh this oh yeah Here's this one uh -huh. so uh we had zoom modes and we had a stealth uh, mode and the normal mode and it created a lot of as not a lot, but some amount of confusion. And even we uh, were sometimes thinking about what to use, how to use, how to differentiate, what, how to name it. And uh, we think we finally solve it with the introduction of new uh, uh, concept, which we call camera. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as <So>, that. <laughs> yes. And so camera is something that we think uh, will uh, greatly decrease the amount of like uh, knowledge that you need to uh, have about explain everything to provide a great video and record it but it also gives you a lot of power uh, to uh, fine grain the end result and uh, what you can shot <laughs> using explain everything so start, let's start with the normal uh, standard way of using explain everything when you have all the de uh, all default behaviors it's exactly as we have right now on uh -huh. this on the screen uh so if you use this zoom tool uh which is which here, is here. <laughs> there is just one button there is just one button right now no additional buttons <laughs> no, really <laughs> so simple we can just move across the screen yeah. with zoom yeah. That's fantastic. So okay. you'll see you'll <laughs> see throughout this video that we also declutter some uh, UI uh, elements on the project area. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it. So we have just one button for Zoom tool, no cool. modes, no, and it does exactly what you think. You it lets you move the canvas around and uh, change the viewport that you see, and that's. The default. So how right? do you control what is recorded in your video? If I start so, to record, so, yeah, if what you, will happen? If you start record, uh, then that's everything that uh, that you see is uh, recorded. And okay. that's exactly, oh. I yeah. know why. I know why. Because I'm, uh -huh. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm broadcasting through Zoom. Yeah, it's making it <laughs> a bit complicated. But nevertheless, yeah. we can. We can we can tell you what, what, what's going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, so what when, gets... when we will record now, what would be captured is the same view that user that you sees, see. It's, right? it's everything. What you see is what gets recorded. That's that's the simple uh, basic default. Uh -huh. And uh, there is a camera concept which we introduce and which allows uh, like more. Uh, sophisticated use of explain everything and you can see this new camera button just next to record uh, area uh, which we think is the right place for it and what it does I just pressed it yes you just pressed it okay everything slightly zoom out and there is this small uh, frame uh, around the around the area here yes. uh -huh. and this is a mm, camera uh, interface you can uh, see what gets recorded with that so this is the frame that you uh, 
can also manipulate by dragging this, uh, this small handle or even the uh, frame itself. And you can also pinch to, to adjust what gets, uh, what is, oh, sorry, what gets recorded. So right now I'm using pinch uh, gesture to uh -huh. fine grain uh, the camera placement. And this is what gets recorded actually uh, if we would record right now. So, so why don't we show that? So I'll actually I'll change the view for you. So I'll, I'll stop broadcasting from this iPad so we can use recording and I'll share um, overhead camera that we prepared for this occasion. So now you should see this iPad, so we'll be able to record, right? So let's say the camera is off and I do the recording and I still cannot record audio. Hold on. <laughs> we can fix that. Let's do it here. Okay, please, please go ahead. Let's do it here. Mm -hmm. So we can prepare a quick project with uh, some uh, clippers. So let's uh, do those. And we have this clipboard with mm -hmm. uh, this nice gentleman. And if I record right now, yes, I record normal. Uh, sorry, I will turn off this now. Mm -hmm. uh, we record whole area. And we can see that uh, when I played it, it's just a simple recording, right? Yes. But let's do something more fancy and let's. Uh, use the camera functionality and so, let's mix uh, the recording uh, that I have uh, right so now. So now you actually see more than the camera provides into the recording, right? Yes, so mm -hmm. this is the uh, area of camera, right? So this is what the final recorded uh, video will show. And you can see that I have this uh, earth uh, clipboard here and I will just press record and mix uh, this earth coming to the whiteboard, which I <laughs> moved before. <laughs> oh, yes. OK. Yeah. So, so you can add something, some additional material, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I can delete this, mm -hmm. this movement. And you can see that I use the camera to just see more of the, uh, the project area and to animate this uh, earth coming into the whiteboard. Into the, whiteboard. the canvas yes. of the camera. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is really uh, something simple. You actually could do that before, but what, uh, what is interesting is maybe let's play it. So, so now we could see that camera came to the frame captured by software. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now we can uh, close it and let's do something more fancy. And let's start with, let's change how camera is uh, is shown, right? So you're so, actually recording now? No, okay. I'm, I'm pressing record. I, I changed where the camera initially is uh, set, okay. and I will uh, press record. So only this small frame yes. will be captured on and, your video. And then I can zoom in and zoom out. And you do it while recording, right? Yes. OK, that's, that's very interesting. Yes. It was not so easy to do it before. It was in, in, uh, it was impossible. It was even impossible. Okay. Okay. Let's declutter it. But now, and let's see what. Before you play this, let let's scroll through the timeline. You see now the scene now and the camera movement within the scene. I know there's there's a lack of contrast, but perhaps you see the camera movement was captured, and you can review the camera movement as using the same view as you were building the materials. But when you play it, let's see what happens. Now you see what the camera sees. And this movement, this tiny movement that Machi provided is now reflected in the movement of the camera. Right, right. It's pretty nice. <laughs> this is nice. We, uh, we introduced this camera and we think uh, after you use it, it will be like more natural way of uh, using explain everything. And we, we would like you to think about it uh, as a mm, similarity to the real world uh, situation when you use the camera, like home camera, right? So uh, if you have the camera like 
let's let's use this one as an example. Uh -huh. uh, oh, maybe not this one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's use the camera, uh, iOS camera. So if you have uh, like normal situation, uh -huh. you see. Uh, in explain everything, when you have the camera uh, in default mode, it acts as you would as, as you the uh, person the the user, the, the user uh, has the camera in in your eye attached to your yeah, eye attached to your so you eye. only see through the lenses of the camera yes okay mm -hmm. and so you can use it you can think about it uh, as the uh, as the uh, this device that I'm holding, that this is my head, right? I would have right. like this, right? <laughs> okay. You can see this. But when you press the camera button, you suddenly uh, see more, image. right? I don't know if 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 you saw <laughs> what I've done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can pretty much tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So but, you detach right from now, the view of the camera. Yeah. Right uh -huh. now, I'm seeing the camera and the things no, no, around, no. right? You only see your finger now. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so right now I'm seeing the, uh, the device and the everything that lies around, right? Yeah, you see the surrounding and that's why if you have materials just here, you can move them to the viewport of the camera. Yes. Just like so that. I can use it as an, uh, as an example. I see uh, this pencil right here, but it doesn't get uh, recorded. And when, I, uh, when I'm when i using the camera functionality in Explain Everything, I'm doing exactly that, right? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's that's fantastic. It's, it's actually quite easy to understand how to manipulate the camera and change the view. Once, um, once we provide this to you, we'll be happy to, to, to get your comments, how much it's simplified your process of of recording materials but if there are any uh, questions you would like to ask us now on improved navigation recording please please do so while we will provide a short summary of what changed i'll just change the view here again to broadcast from this ipad all right so again one tool that we used for zooming and using camera got replaced with two simpler tools that let you uh, zoom and pan, that's zoom without any additional buttons, and a single button to control the camera with this view that gets recorded. So as a side note, we also did, did a nice improvement in the zooming uh, interface. Uh -huh. So uh, this is a nice touch that we were lacking before. Yeah, what is so, it? Uh, if you uh, do something like that, the oh, view yeah. is de decelerating right now. Oh, yes. That's something that we were missing. <laughs> oh, right. That's something that you, uh, our users, were asking for a lot. So, well, the frame rate on Zoom is not as we would expect. So, you don't see how nicely the de decelerates, but it's actually quite nice movement. It's, it's more of, a, of an experience of maps. Right? Yeah, so it's something that you're uh, familiar with. You might be familiar from I don't know Google Maps or uh, or browser or scrolling through uh, documents with the deceleration deceleration. That's really nice, fantastic. So let's move forward to structured collaboration. There's quite a bit to cover here, right? Yes. <laughs> so what? Uh, let me tell you what we what we noticed uh, and what we've listened to as a feedback coming to those that use collaboration in the classes during the meetings is that the explainer of the thing provides enormous uh, possibilities to collaborate together and work together but what was lacking was this possibility to make the experience more structured for users 
and so because all the editing tools were available for everyone that joined, including recording, sometimes too many participants ended up in kind of like a chaotic situation when yes. people were trying out different tools. So what we wanted to do is to make it easier for those that host meetings, right? Right. So this is uh, like similar to previous uh, thing that we covered. It's uh, somehow uh, connected to improving by um, like maybe maybe you can see it as a as a as a functionality uh, limits, but it's it's for us it improves the overall user experience because uh, right now it's easier for you to actually uh, cover the uh, use cases that you uh, you are uh, willing to cover, mm -hmm. like for example hosting a a, 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 a classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, a vir virtual classroom or uh, like one-to-one -one, uh, tutoring uh, scenario when a, only the, uh, the teacher might want to uh, operate uh, when it comes to recording and uh, he wants to um, be so-called admin or host in the control of what is yes. what is provided Oh yeah. yeah. So, so let's let's show what changed, and I'll start collaboration now. Okay. So if you could join on your iPad. Oh, before we do that, maybe let's 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 show. So the something interface. changed here already. We we moved the uh, the avatars that were uh, on this uh, right uh, right side here. Okay. So let me show you this. So yeah. previously, you could see the list of collaborators here. Now they will be lined up here. Right? I would, yes, mm -hmm. uh, but we decided that we won't uh, show the uh, full list of, uh, of participants uh, for, the, for each, of, uh, each user in the project area because we want to, for you to have more space uh, in the, uh, for, for your content and we found that uh, the avatars doesn't bring you that much functionality. Uh, so we will always show you your avatar and also what, what will come uh, soon, what we'll cover soon, uh, the person who, are you, who, who you're following. So right now, uh, Bart- but, but hold on, we yeah. see number of participants yeah. of the session, right? So yeah. even without seeing those avatars, you can tell how many people connected to the session. And also the invite, uh, the invite button uh, changed the name into the code, uh -huh. project code, so you can easily uh, uh, type. Someone connected, is that, <laughs> is that going to work? Because <laughs> we're using beta version of, <laughs> hello. hello. That might not work. <laughs> hello from. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Nice. <laughs> That's Pierre Denis. Uh, great to see you, Pierre. You're 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 playing with fire here because you have a different version. That this was not shipped so. yet. But great to see you. If something breaks, we'll we'll blame we'll blame it on you. <laughs> oh, actually, this is really nice. <laughs> uh, so Pierre Denis was not only that connected, James also connected to us. Hey, James. <laughs> hey, James. <laughs> so this is something that won't work for sure since uh -huh. uh, the, the changes that we have here are not fully uh, like backward compatible, probably. Okay. <laughs> but let's we'll try. Let's soon. try. Yeah. So, uh, what do we see here in this new menu? So uh, Bart opened the new invite and like, people uh, menu, which shows uh, all the connected uh, people that uh, right now is Bart, James, and Nippo. Uh, and that's, that's the list that shows uh, the, uh, all of the uh, currently connected uh, uh -huh. users. And you can also mm, tap on everyone and it's a nice menu. This nice menu shows more details and you can which we'll see uh, soon. Uh, we can uh, do some actions here, but right now let's go back. We also have some options uh, about gathering everyone and muting everyone, which we'll cover later. And mm -hmm. something that is not uh, available here is the permission screen, which allows you right. to change uh -huh. the permission. Uh, 
right from the script. So, so why don't we show you what is the what is the change when you present content through Exponent? Can you can you connect to the same session? Yeah. And I'll change the view so you can see uh, both iPads of ours for this presentation here. Okay, so you should see those presently. Okay, so now. Marcia is joining me. Okay, we see the notification that new person entered the session. Marcia is connecting, and we will soon show you how now with this new mode, you can actually guide presentation. So I'm now the host, right? Yeah. Something is different with your interface yes, here. I will, I will show it um, here. <laughs> okay. It's uh, this second avatar that I see is Bart avatar, and it's connected with this frame, which uh -huh. tells you uh, that something uh, is happening, and this something means that I'm following Bart. So okay, so if I move the screen, you'll move after me, right? Yeah. So so if and I by look here, by moving screen, you mean uh, using Zoom? Yes, right? I'm yeah. I'm using Zoom, so I'm grabbing the screen with two fingers, and as you see, I'm moving around. But nothing happens on your end. Why? Yes, this is something that uh, was pro uh, like uh, created a lot of confusion before, because manipulating the viewport uh, was real time, and if I was seeing something, it was uh, uh, it was immediately uh, reflected. Yeah, immediately, on the other end. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it uh, it wasn't something that many people wanted. So we decided that right now we'll uh, the f in following mode we'll. Uh, change the viewport of the followers right after the uh, the followed person uh, finishes his action. So, so when I when I depress iPad now, if I yeah. let it go, the, the 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 view on your end changes. That means yeah. I can move around the canvas, look for the material that I want to show next, and then while letting go, this will guide everyone to the spot that I just chose yeah. here. And it will That's be pretty neat. Better visible when we'll have the same aspect ratio. Right? Okay, yeah. so I would look for this. Okay, and yes. bang, everyone followed. <clears throat> so this is a default behavior. Bart uh -huh. started this project, and uh, by starting, he uh, he became an owner and also the host. And this host role is something that we we are introducing uh, with this version. Uh -huh. or will introduce with this uh, upcoming version. And this host role is all about uh, uh, providing, uh, like manipulating the recording. So one thing that you may, uh, you might miss is that my uh, interface doesn't show the record interface. So there is no record button, no oh, camera right. button. Uh -huh. I have only a mute button. So uh, Bart, who is the host, uh, has this full uh, interface here, right? Mm -hmm. And he can uh, start recording, and he also can manipulate the camera. So as you may see, uh, I'm as a, um, as not, as not host, yeah, as a, as a participant, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not manipulating the camera, I'm not uh, messing with the recording, I'm just participating, and the host, host's role is uh, all about uh, managing those for me. Does it actually mean that you can only follow me and use those tools on the left side? No, of course not. <laughs> ah, tell us more about this. <laughs> so this is the uh, the standard scenario. So this is something uh, that might happen in the classroom or on uh, this webinar or maybe in uh, uh, in the tutoring session when there is a host that uh, created the meeting and everybody, everyone else uh, just need to follow him, right? And this is the default uh -huh. behavior, but that, that, that we are not stopping here. We are allowing more uh, broad use of explain every, everything. And by this, I mean uh, me as a, as a participant, I can uh, also turn on the Zoom tool and move around the way I so want. you're free to move around yeah. as well. I'm right? free. I'm free to move, and I'm doing just that. And you may see there's I, a, there's this notification yeah, that I see. I will I will show it clo more closely. Uh huh. It uh, says that you 
Okay, it says that you're following me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I cannot see it. Oh, yeah. So there is this notification. Do you want to unfollow BA Goncharek? So right? explain everything. Actually, realize that you're looking at something different that is provided by the host and asks you, do you still want to see what host is providing, what presenter is providing? If you don't want to see it, you can unfollow. Yeah, I can unfollow, but I, I'm, I just need to confirm that I don't want to, uh, to, 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 to follow Bart uh, anymore. And right now... And you're free. I'm free, because before, uh, after five or some amount of seconds, uh, after I moved the viewport, the, after I used the Zoom, uh, I switched back to what uh, Bart was seeing. And this is the default behavior. Fantastic. So you, by default, you follow, but you can... I can move around. You can, and if, if you I, can choose freedom if you want. To. Yes, and if I want to. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> yes. Because I have I'm this enjoying. option here to I'm gather enjoying. you. <laughs> yeah. So there is the other thing that we are introducing for uh, yeah, more restricted users that want uh, to force every uh, participant uh, that is connected to uh, follow him and not being able to uh, unfollow him. And this is the option here. on the gather everyone. Yeah, gather everyone. So if Bart use it and toggle, uh, and will toggle it on, let's do this. I'm so happy to. So I just did that. I'm, I'm right back, uh, and I see exactly what Bart is uh, Bart is seeing. And let's 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 keep it this way. And and I, uh, and with this, I can also. Uh, I have also some amount of freedom on this slide that we are currently okay. Seeing. So if I'm still having Zoom tool uh, turned on, and if I use it, I can do this, as you see. But as soon as I uh, put my finger off, it comes back, right? Wow. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. way, I can uh, see the whole picture. And if I just uh, just touch up, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, it, will, uh, it will go back to, to what Bart sees. That's because I have this option on, right? Yes. But if I turn it off, you're uh, free it's, to it's move again, anywhere, again. but you'll be gathered to my view if you don't uh, yeah, if, unfollow. If I, I'm, if I won't follow, I, I, I will be brought back to you. Right? This, is, this is very, we think it's going to be very useful for those presenters that want to use explore everything with larger, larger groups or maybe remote users as well. So that's why we provide those options. And as you see, this is, this is really neatly implemented because you have this rubber effect when moving around. This is, this is nicely done. But we have two questions, so let me ask you real quick. Uh, how about permissions? What kind of permissions you'll be able to set for participants? So this gather uh, everyone is, you may think about gathering everyone and locking this functionality as one uh, permission. So, uh, this is the first one that we are introducing. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, we have our regular uh, permissions that uh, that you can set on every project that is uh, kept on our platform, which uh, includes the view uh, view only and right to edit uh, mode. Uh -huh. And this is something that uh, we will stay. Uh, we will leave it as it is. But we are thinking about, and that's something that we would love to hear from you, about um, interchanging them or maybe not, you know, or connecting those. And uh, we are thinking about introducing uh, the special uh, mode that gives only a host uh, uh, an edit mode, right? So right now we both, Bart and I, we are seeing we have new all tools, the tools and right. we can mm -hmm. we can edit mm -hmm. project right and we are thinking about uh connecting the permissions and like what happens on the session uh and allowing only a host to edit uh edit project and this is important because that's something that we haven't uh showed you yet we can also uh switch the host during the session so right now okay um, so right now, Bart, this, uh, Bart, who is an owner, uh, is also a host. But he uh, may choose me, uh, and he, we just entered this uh, 
this interface. Uh -huh. This is me. And there is the option, and, can... and he can follow me. So that's a neat uh, stuff. And by if, if that would be a scenario with more, uh, more users that were connected, uh, it would mean that also everyone who followed Bart starts following Follow me, you. right? right. Uh -huh. And everything is more natural or this way. But so you... then he can make me a host, right? So uh, we are thinking about uh, connecting those things and uh, providing the uh, edit tools only for a host or a person who is followed by the host. So maybe that's some, that's, uh, that would be better if we would uh, describe a scenario in the classroom. So maybe yes. Bar Bart, uh -huh. is, Bart is the uh, teacher that uh, started the session and a few pupils connected. And then uh, they were doing some, uh, some uh, they were allowed to do some, uh, some part of uh, activity. And Bart were following each, uh, each student uh, when they were, uh, they were doing the math, uh, math exercise or uh -huh. something like that, right? So uh, that would mean that Bart follows uh the uh, i don't know john <laughs> yes i could and, i could follow other participants right and then when i do that those participants would follow john as well yes okay mm -hmm. and we are thinking about uh, providing the uh, mode when only the uh, host or the uh, followed by host uh people have the edit tools so this way it would follow uh, the the edit tools would follow uh -huh. host or the <laughs> or the the person who is uh, right. uh -huh. followed by him so we already have a reaction to that james would love the idea if only the host could be could could be in edit mode and it and if this would be easy to go on and off when required right thank right. you for that yes cool. um what could be great, that's the comment from Pierre Denise, what could be great is that every student can have his own notes and the notes of the host, but notes, the notes of everybody, but not seeing the notes of everybody, everyone else. This is great. This is great idea. Uh -huh. um, the speaker's notes, the, the, the area, the, the whiteboarding area that is uh, private to the uh, user is something that we are interested in. It's kind of a hard problem to solve regarding the persistence of such nodes and the privacy of those. But uh, we are definitely interested in providing this kind of experience. There's a hack, actually. If you have two versions of explain everything, <laughs> you can move content from one to another having a private <laughs> space. But this is crazy. I mean, this is a great idea. We will de definitely think about, uh, about this solution. So why don't we show switching the role? So I'm yeah. the host now. So I want to follow you now. Yeah. So, so how about that? So I want to follow you. Please yeah. go. Oh, so you might have seen that now I saw this frame popping up. And now the avatar of Machi here comes with a frame for me. So actually, I'm, there's a, this visual indication that I see what Machi sees. And if you could move around, you'll see that I'm currently following student in this scenario. So that's exactly what is happening. And Bart, as, as a host, has, uh, as, a, as the project owner, has uh, a lot of power. He can uh, decide everything about everything that happens. So uh -huh. he can, uh, even if he uh, follows me, uh, I every can still recording. Right? Yeah, you can uh, you can still record, but you can give me also the uh, the power of uh, recording. Oh, I'm happy. You can to. make me a host. I'm happy to. So when I tap Maciek here. I have this option to make him a host. So I'll do this now. Yeah. And as you see, what's changed for me is that this button to record has disappeared. Yeah. And I, now you have it. I have it. I have it. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this, hopefully. Uh, so I started uh, recording right now. And, okay. Uh, yeah, something, something strange happened. <laughs> but never mind. Yeah, I but, see recording. But, that yeah. It's still going, you know. We couldn't record on my iPad, but we obviously can using yours. Yeah, right. And we can also, uh, me as a as a new host, I can use the camera functionality, and which is not uh, seen on the Bart 
uh, display because what for? I'm the I'm the host and I'm uh, I'm the uh, manager of the recording right You're now. You're the cameraman now. Yeah, I'm the cameraman. It doesn't change my perspective on the materials that we have, but it will be reflected in the video that gets created this way. Yeah. Hope so, it does make sense. We know it's a bit complicated. <laughs> we're going crazy here, but we love this feature and it's very useful for us. So I guess after a bit of practice, it will be very practical for you as well. It's hard to describe, but actually it's, 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 in our opinion, it's, just it's much, it. much more easier than it was before. Let's see what, what got recorded. Okay, so we're playing back the recording. You see it on both iPads now. That was the zoom that I couldn't tell that you're doing. Yeah. yeah that was the movement of the camera, sorry, that I couldn't tell that you're doing because I had a different perspective. And but I was now we're just watching. Functional. Now yeah. we're just watching. I see the play going on. I see which second there is. This is quite nice. Yeah. So uh, this is it. This is the uh, host functionality and Bartek. As, own, as the owner and uh, the, the former host can uh, took the role of host in any, uh, any, any moment yes, by typing his avatar host. and pressing okay. become host. And that's something that just happened, right? So I have all the tools now. I see the timeline. This is working great. Thank you for showing this uh, to us today. And there is a comment from Pierre Denise. It will be great for students in the classroom. Yes, of, of course. Yes. Thanks for that. We hope it's going to be very useful for teachers and there will be no need to explain the Zoom tool uh, as we did before on previous Zen webinars because we obviously we got a lot of questions because of the complexity of, you know, having two tools in one yeah. and so, the collaboration. So that's something, there is something, uh, some additional uh, thing that we can do. I'm as a regular participant right, uh -huh. uh, right now, I can uh, tap my avatar and I can also uh, choose to request a host. Okay, so, so that's for, something you would do to a teacher, right? As yeah, a student, so as you a can student, ask for can, the role. I can ask for the role of, uh, well, it's, it's here. Yes. As, uh, to request the host permission, which I will do, well. And that's, there is this notification that showed on the card. Uh, it disappeared now. It disappeared because, because it's, you, it's... If you could request it again, I'll show you here. Yeah, of course, approval. <laughs> and I just provided yeah, I'm, the role I'm, as, requ as requested. I'm a host again. Right. Very nice. So that should summarize the collaboration changes, I think. <laughs> when we are planning to provide it. So as you may see, we are uh, quite far right now with uh -huh. all of this. We are. Uh, right now in the middle of the testing and, uh, and addressing the bugs that we fi uh, find. So the thing that uh, the time frame that we can provide is like the January, February, uh, like the, the middle of, middle of, uh, middle of that, just, 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 just one, one and a half month more. And we'll be uh, seeing this on store version of, of, of explain everything. First, it will come to iOS version and uh, the Zoom functionality will come also to uh, web and Android versions. Mm -hmm. But follow, uh, following mode will come only to iOS first and then uh, sometime later in the year, it will go uh, to web and Android version, uh, versions as well. But that's the usual path of the rollouts on our end. We, the iOS is usually the most powerful platform and other platforms are, they, they, do, they do follow in the way we roll out those, those features. Fantastic, and thanks for the reactions. James uh, mentioned that this works brilliantly, excellent idea, and great implementation. <laughs> Thank you. So not being brought that's, during the demo. This that's is the teamwork. <laughs> that's the teamwork we are talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. So why don't we move to last thing for the day? And we want to show you, and I'll just broadcast my screen again from single iPad for, for you to have a better resolution. Okay. And the last thing we wanted to show you now, yes, I want to unfollow. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were the, uh, the host. is something that is uh, an improvement that is important one, but it, it is, haha. <laughs> it is uh, hidden a bit uh, under the hood. Yet 
it's going to simplify the way to use explain everything a lot. So what changed here when we are speaking about improved object manipulation? So uh, we solved some uh, issues that we have uh, with drawing uh, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but not the host. Yeah. So gather everyone. That's because mute everyone. No, no, no. That won't work because <laughs> <Okay>. they, <laughs> these guys were, uh, are using uh, like legacy versions. No, 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 was, maybe current version. Someone was so playing that's something, with the Zoom tool. Yeah, and the intersection. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No worry. problem. <laughs> but that's, that's nice. <laughs> At least we know that it's working with the current versions of explain everything on the market. Yes. <laughs> yes <it does. laughs> All right. So uh, we we can uh, use this example uh, of the person that 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 wrote. This, uh, these letters? Oh yes, very, very well, of course, let's do that. So uh, the changes that we are talking about are in uh, the drawing uh, tools area. So that's Pierre Denis, so, so he wrote something and created a drawing, and as you see by this border here around, it's actually a single Single object. object, right? Mm -hmm. And what's uh, what's more, uh, in uh, the previous, uh, in, in current version of Explain Everything, uh, you not only were, uh, was moving the objects when you hit the lines and the drawing itself, but you also were moving it when uh, when you touch the uh, area of the object. So even even so, so, so you, if you touch the space in between those objects, like here, you yeah. would still move the object. Yeah, because what happens underneath is that. There's this invisible frame of the, that, that shows the bounds, that, that, that is the boundary of the object, right? That's actually something like that. And however, if you press it in any of the space, here, 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 or here, you would still move the object, right? Yeah. So this is, mm -hmm. the, the, our classic example is uh, of the uh, chart that you, mm, you are uh, drawing with explain everything. Uh -huh. When you do this and uh, you draw this kind of uh, function, actually in current version, uh, it would mean that anywhere you touch here, 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 oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> here, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. everywhere in this box that Bart uh, previously uh, drew, and drew here, you would move the object. And we are fixing this uh, by allowing only the movement of uh, this specific object. It grouped, I think. <laughs> yeah. So let me show you how this this only, will work. Only, yeah. This is how it will work. Now you are uh, able to uh, to move this object only when you hit. Uh, the surroundings of the lines themselves, right? So you, instead of transparent space, you need to tap and hold the object, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are move, uh, using So that's this, the background? Yeah, that's the background. I, okay. I, I'm tapping on the background and I'm using the background, which is desired behavior here. Uh, and but now you grab the, yeah. the, the function. Yeah, I'm grabbing graph. the function. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is the change. And we are also improving the way uh, the drawings are uh, separated. Okay, so and that's so something that the part will show you. Let's sh let's show you here. So let's let's say that we're going to provide few letters of the alphabet. So we do A, B, C, D, E, and perhaps we want to have a frame around this. So previously, doing that would result in a single object, right? Yeah. But now in this version, okay, but now in this version, you still seem to have a single object because you can grab it with your fingers and move it around. Because we, we uh, magically group them for you. But that's the magic <laughs> because underneath, this is actually a set of separate objects that you can independently relocate, just like that. So you can think of explainer everything being now more powerful. So you can create objects like with this function um, example that you provided. You can create both axes and then you can create function. And now 
those objects, as you see, are independent. So if you want to provide explanation, moving the function, you don't have to mess with tools, do anything more. You can just freely move this object as they were created separately. Yeah, but as you see, these separate uh, lines that you created as a, a chart or, uh, or the, uh, these lines, these uh -huh. white lines, they were connected as a one uh, as a one object. So we try to. How is it so? I mean, how is that possible? So we. <laughs> What's the magic here? <laughs> the math. <laughs> it's it's the a math, math <laughs> under who that <laughs> that is doing the magic. Uh -huh. Nothing nothing brilliant. That's that's a lot of uh, stuff that we put together, uh, and it provides this magic experience that we hopefully. Uh, yeah, do do what we want to do. So let me show you. The, the, the magic works in a way that if you have those letters very close to each other, this should create a single object, yeah. right? But if you experiment with the math, with the beauty of what was created, maybe that's the space that is enough to have those objects as separate. Oh, and yes, that's those. almost the gap. <laughs> so because now it was... A and B was too close together, so they got grouped, and C is separate. So if you want to create objects quickly, you just need to think about the gap between them. So if you want to create, let's say, that's going to be, or maybe something else, that's going to be a landscape. I can create, because we're in the visual storytelling, that's the landscape. We can, we can fill this and I can create now a single fellow that is going to, to go uh, across the landscape here. And this single fellow now moves freely. It's not going to be grouped with those objects as before. Before you had to create this fellow somewhere outside of bounds of this object. And you would need uh, beforehand that you need to uh, switch to or use the uh, done button on the uh, drawing uh, tool to do this as a separate uh, as a separate object yes and we admit it was just too complicated that's why we decided to make it simpler yeah and when this change is going to be available for everyone it's uh, january it's like we are thinking about providing all of those things all, all those things in one release but if it won't happen this uh this final uh feature that we showed you will land before the other ones. Fantastic. So that's the bag of goodies that you prepare for Christmas, right? Yeah. You know, just <laughs> shortly after Christmas. <laughs> so knowing all of those three changes, as we mentioned, this one under the hood, not perhaps not even visible for some users, and those two, two quite visible, one in for every user, and the second, structural collaboration for those that work in groups, are going to be released soon. And we have one uh, more thing that we would want to actually hear from you. If you like the improvements that we're planning, we're just, you know, starting, <laughs> starting to improve some more. And that's why we would love to hear from you what we should improve next. So we have still a few minutes of this webinar. It would be great to learn from you. So if you'd like to, to, to speak up or write down as in the chat window your suggestions, please go ahead and do so. Or if you have additional questions to us, we can take them now. So well, this is a great experience. So we see that there's a, there's a suggestion coming from Pierre Denise. I wonder how this even works. We're using so different version of explain everything, and it, it does not break. It, it shouldn't break because like, uh -huh. it will work with current uh, web and Android versions when it will uh, okay. be uh, available publicly. So the uh, backward compatibility is something that uh, we had in mind from the beginning. Fantastic. So now we see this backward compatibility is quite safe for those users that already have explain everything pre-installed on their devices. So they, I, mm -hmm. the PR, I think, is actually uh, uh, right now experiencing the old behavior. So everything moves when we, when when we, we move. move. Yeah. Right. So okay. it would be better for him. Uh, but that's something that we need to know uh, to use the, uh, the camera and and this zoom functionality that we 
see here because we then we don't mess with his screen yes. and his yes. perspective he's using right? his and we mm -hmm. we are using ours yes yeah right yeah exactly so there are some suggestions please add the function students can so students can line the region of the whiteboard can roam <laughs> of the okay so what we're missing here is okay this is something we we have a hard time um, de deciphering okay student has his region of the whiteboard yes yeah absolutely okay that, that, that's that's a good idea mm -hmm. yeah that's something that we are also thinking and we'll uh see what we can provide we are thinking about providing the separate slides and assigning those slides to uh, different uh, participants mm -hmm. or assigning the regions in the single slide that's 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 something that will definitely look uh next year uh and see if and how we can provide those kind of uh experiences oh uh, that's great see my comment in the chat oh. okay so let's see um mm -hmm. here oh yeah yeah that's the comment on the notes right and the regions reserved for the students absolutely mm -hmm. And this idea that we got from James before, so the host would be able to edit and possibility of toggle, um, to, to toggle on and off tools for other participants. We had something as um, such the same functionality in the past, so yeah. So right now it's about, uh, you can uh, use explain everything to, to achieve that. You, you need to constantly, uh, First, you need to invite everyone uh, by via the email to the project, mm -hmm. and then you might uh, uh, manipulate their permissions from the permissions screen. And this is reflected by uh, taking uh, taking the tools from the users and giving them back. But that's something that uh, it's not like straightforward. And we think that the uh, if the tools follows uh, the host, it will be more natural uh, way of collaborating and achieving the kind of uh, use case and supporting the kind of use cases that we think and we know that people want to use explain everything for. It's also it would be like a very minimal minimalistic experience, right? We, where you don't have too many options to toggle on and off. Yeah, that's, if the tools that's something, follow home. That's something that we. Uh, care deeply about uh, in these features to set correct defaults and uh, provide correct default behavior. So uh, in regard of camera, you might not be aware of camera, you might not even know it exists, you just use the zoom tool and it's, and everything is, what you see gets recorded. Uh, and that's, that's the default behavior and that's correct one. So, uh, so is the uh, default uh, mode uh, of, collab uh, of following the host mm -hmm. when you join the uh, session. Right. This is, this is another uh, example of, 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 of correct defaults. Uh, and we uh, think they, they are correct. We'll uh, see how you uh, will uh, use them and maybe we'll switch our minds, but we are pretty uh, confident that we choose uh, the correct ones. Mm -hmm. And we provide a lot of ways to change those in still easy and uh, natural way. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, another question is, have we improved the backend as I'm going to do the remote uh, design thinking session with India? With India? Europe and India. Oh yeah, that's a good question. So, so what changed? So uh, I'm, I'm not updated on the, yeah, I, actually I know. Yeah, since yesterday there is the version of Explain Everything for iOS, the new version, and I'm not, I don't know if you are using iOS or uh, web on the, or Android version, but iOS at least uh, got a huge uh, uh, under the hood improvement version 
that uh, was released yesterday. Yeah, you, you're, you're using to iOS. iOS. So, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually, if you're uh, connecting to India, like the second part of the connection, like the, the India one, is also uh, an iOS. So you, uh, and you have the uh, most current version, you are using uh, improved version when it comes to connectivity and uh, these kind of experiences that you might uh, have problems with. Uh, we are investing more time into those. We are uh, working on any disconnections that we are aware of, and like not not uh, and maybe not intended disconnections that we we heard from from our users. So if you are uh, experiencing any problems uh, when some uh, when you are kicked out from the project. Please send us a code of this project and the approximate time when it happened, and we can use our uh, logs that we have on server to address those. But we are pretty uh, sure about those improvements that we uh, just released. Uh, please try them out and send us a feedback if anything went, uh, if anything is uh, more uh, stable or uh, or not. We are happy to to hear from you, and if there are any issues, we'll try to fix those. So Pierre Denis responds that he will follow that carefully. And cool. this is something we really appreciate, uh, the support from you and suggestions and also observations, because there are so many things that um, occur in those sessions, combinations that we would never even think about. That's why it's so helpful to have your support. So thank you for that. Uh, the Jame is, uh, with his question, his, uh, I guess, asking about the thing that we mentioned before, before yeah, yeah that the idea that uh, that a student would be able to put answers in an appropriate part of the lesson, then change the host, will uh, so other person could solve that, right? Yeah. So it's it's actually a scenario where you move but uh, materials through the whiteboard and you allow someone to use those materials, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So definitely something. Um, that we will uh, think about how to make the structured collaboration even mm -hmm. more structured, mm -hmm. so more use cases are allowed. But it would be useful if we learn from you what kind of restrictions you would put in in order to have, um, in, or, in order to feel in control when doing lessons with, or group meetings or brainstorms together with your teams. So we'd love to hear from you after you, you will of course share video of this uh, webinar so you can uh, scroll back and forth and see again the changes that we showed you today and if you have any additional suggestions keep in mind we're going to yet to re release it so last minute changes are still yeah, possible they are still possible <laughs> cool <laughs> of course Fantastic. Definitely not final word for us. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, so we'll work hard here uh, in Explain Everything to improve the experience, uh, experience for you. We hope the experience of this webinar was not chaotic too much. We fiddled a bit with this camera in order to provide you a clear picture. And I guess the quality of the recording will be even better for you. And we're going to share the recording with you tomorrow. So thank you for participation. And Machi, thank you for showing us the goodies. Happy to be here and telling you about all the things that we are changing for you. So we wish you a happy Christmas and good time with family. We'll come back with next webinars that are already scheduled next year, I guess, uh, January 7th or something around January 7th. And we'll also ask Machi to come more often to the webinars to provide you with more uh, answers and information on the things to come. Thank you. Thank you. See you.